Hi, I'm Bailey from War Demolition. We salvaged a super yacht and this is that story. Five years ago, Ward Demolition acquired the task of demolishing Sensation Yachts. The company went under eight years prior and the site had been left abandoned ever since. The demolition consisted of four large sheds and two office blocks spanning across a roughly 22,000 square metre site. Three unfinished super yachts were left on site. Once Ward Demolition received the job, they legally belonged to us with rights to salvage. Two of the super yachts weren't this far along in the build and it was impossible to find a buyer for them. Unfortunately, they had to be demolished. There's 78 of these frames that all come together to make up one big mould. A lot of time and effort gone into this and it's going to take not too long to demolish. The remaining yacht was in three pieces, the hull, top section and engine room. This is a 49 metre yacht that's uh, half built and would be worth a lot of money to someone. It's way too fast through the building process to put a digger through it. It would be a shame to demolish it. We are a demolition company but we want to recycle and salvage as much as possible. It's, it's full of interior. They've obviously started fitting all this before they've uh, run out of money. And where the engine would get slotted into in the super yacht. Big, big engines here. Don't know much about engines, but I know these are big engines. They've got zero hours on the clock. We're looking at million dollar engines. It would be a shame to get rid of them. Someone else will know what these are, know what they're worth, and be able to pick them up for a good price. The three sections were relocated into a neighbouring shed so the demolition could be completed. Hi, Peter Ward, Managing Director of Ward Demolition. The sales process of the super yacht ended up being quite a journey. The shed was costing us $10,000 a month. We decided that if we didn't manage to move the boat in the next four to six weeks, we had to wreck it. We posted the super yacht on Facebook, threatening to demolish it if we couldn't find a buyer. The story was then picked up by staff and various worldwide super yacht news outlets. And we were dangerously close to the breaking point when we found a buyer. The buyers that ended up buying the yacht were originally from New Zealand, very, very down to earth, fantastic couple to deal with. For me, it wasn't about the money, it was about trying to stitch a deal together to make sure that somebody finished it off. Nearly 100% of the super yacht has been salvaged. Although the interior has been refitted, many of the original materials and cabinetry has been reused. The parts that aren't being used are being sold on or recycled. Both of the original motors are being used after a service and minor repairs. The super yacht's time in New Zealand has come to an end. It's now being barged to Australia to undergo the final fit out. Ward Demolition was brought back into Lincoln Road to clear the way and build the ramp for the super yacht to go into the water. It was quite a nerve wracking project as any mistake could be quite costly. It was really cool to come back five years later and see that all the time and effort we put into salvaging the boat had paid off. Uh, we've seen that it's been put together and completely transformed into what it is today. It would have been extremely disappointing if we had have not been able to sell the boat and had to wreck it. This Sensation Yachts project is the longest running project that Ward Demolition has ever done. Now the boat's on another boat to go to Australia. We're finished there, we've just got to go back out and do the last little clean up touches and we are finished. It's got a rate up there as one of the most outrageously audacious salvage projects in New Zealand, definitely in New Zealand and maybe the world.